and you want to create healthy energy and improve each and every week. Number three, remember to breathe. I just said that. Remember to breathe. Feel the breath. And then I'll exhale. You got to do it throughout. You can't stop doing that. And then we get to that number four, rate the person you exertion to the one. Through. Ten scale. Ten be the highest. Five be right in the middle. You get a little wet. You get a little drippy. You want to take a sippy. Seven. Keep on going. I know you can do it. Eight. We're going to get there today. Three means you're feeling good. You might stay that three the whole day because you have good cardiovascular energy and conditioning and your muscular condition blocks. You're good with those as well. Depends on what level you are at. Intended for all levels. Push yourself. Try to work hard. And then number five. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Let's get ready. Let's get cracking. Let's get moving. And let's get tick, 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 tick. Moving. Today. Episode four. Four. Dumbbells first. Two. Shrugs. Neutral position. Neutral position is where your palms are to the side. Edge of that chair. Anchor those feet. Bend the knees a little bit. Chest is out. Shoulders drop back and down. Ears over shoulders. You're push, pulling up. So you're going up. Arms are extended to the side. Now, if you have a wheelchair or if you're a recliner or a chair, your arms might have to go out here a little bit more to get them up. That's okay because the area you're working, keep on going, is right through here, your upper trap, all right? The lighter, the better, because you can get them up and you can hit more than just that upper trap. You can hit that upper trap, that low trap, and that mid trap. Now, the heavier the weights are, typically, you can only get that upper trap because you can only go up with those weights. Instead of up, squeeze, and roll them, or up, squeeze, and roll back. But we're just going up because we're just focusing on that trap. So here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Now we're going to come up with the upright rows. Here we go. Upright rows next. And then we're going to put them together, and we're going to do a giant compound set. Put them together. Here we go. Together. Up and down. You got it. Come on. And now you're just going to flare those elbows out. You see how I'm flaring them out? Here we go. Now, my battery I see is going and getting a little low in my phone. So there might be a time where I have to go and plug that bad boy in. That's how you get the music. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, rest them down. I'm going to go into that neutral position. I'm still anchoring my feet. I'm still on the edge of that chair. My chest is out. My shoulders up, back and down. And now I'm going to hammer curl. Side view looks like this. And then we're going to put all three together. So you try to really keep those elbows tight to the rib cage. And you're just coming up like a hammer. And the motion that you're contracting is the top motion. So as you come up, you squeeze. Now I want you to keep a little bit of space. I don't want you to go all the way back. As soon as you go all the way back, you take the pressure off the area that you're working. And that's the brachialis. It's the outside of the bicep. And it's your forearm. And you start putting on the anterior delt. Or you start putting on that track. Or you start swinging. And then you get nothing completed. Just worthless exercise there. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one, rest them down, shake them off. We're gonna put it all together now. So you get your shrug, upright, hammer, curl, compound set, giant set, the trifecta is in effect. Neutral, pronate, neutral. Oh, shrug, upright, hammer, shrug, upright, Hammer, shrug, upright, hammer. Oh, I'm telling you what, shrug, upright, hammer, I have it now. Shrug, upright, hammer, shrug, upright, hammer, shrug, upright, hammer. Let's get another set, here we go. Shake them off. Get rid of them. Awesome job.
job. Let's try to get through another set. Let's try to get to that cardio action interval before I go grab my charger and charge on up because I'm afraid that I'll lose you and I don't want to lose you. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep on going. We do have the Olympic pro down, so we're going to go a little basketball, a little boxing. It's part of the Summer Olympics, so let's get to it. Let's start that dribble. You want to anchor those feet. If you're on that chair, chest out, shoulders up, back and down, and you are just dribbling. Move those hands up and down. You go a little higher with them. You can go low, a little quick dribble, or a high dribble. You're working the forearms, you're working the fingers, you're working the wrist, you're working those delts. Now nice and fast, nice little pulse. Good. Get it. Now I'm going to back it up, and I'm going to shoot, shoot, shoot. A little bend, shoot. Left hand going up and shooting. See that right hand is in that high five position. Come on. Get ready to switch it out. In three, two, hinge, back. Left hand goes up. Right hand shooting now. There you go. A little flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. You'll see. Flick. Flick. Work on that range of motion. You can go up and push. Up and push. Up and push. Now let's go both. Just in case you're not a real good shooter and you need both hands. That's like a shot put now, but come on, throw it up. Throw it up, get a little closer. Here we go. Interlock them back and forth. Get that ball. You want to hold a pillow. You can hold something in between your hands. You can hold, hold your weight if you want. You're just trying to get back and forth so no one can take that ball from you. So you're playing really. You have a ball in your hands and you're swinging it through. There you go. It's almost a triple threat position, so you could move your foot, you could shoot, or you could pass. We're just going back and forth just like this. There you go. Drop that weight, drop that pillow, drop that basketball. If you have that basketball, again, you're getting away from that defender, you're getting away from that defender, and you're twisting back and forth into the jab. There you go. Good conditioning. Keep on moving, keep on going. We have this. Awesome job. Great job. 30 minutes, get that jab, bob and weave on three, two, one, right side, bob and weave, push it through, you got it, this is the Olympic throwdown, it's episode 44, I know the Olympics are over, but hey, we're throwing it in there anyway, we're taking it to another week of the Olympics here, back and forth, shift, 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 shift right, shift left, shift right, shift left, if you're in that seat, you want to really feel that core, if you're standing, you want to feel those legs getting involved, back to that center of gravity right here, and then shift, center, shift, center, shift, you got it, now high low with those punches, up, down, up, down, up, down, squeeze those fists, up, down, up, down, up, down, let's go left side only, punch, 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 right side. You got it. Awesome. Work. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Four, four. Hydrate, hydrate. I'm going to grab my battery real quick, plug it in so I don't lose you, so we can keep this going. Here we go. Sorry about that. We're back though. And that didn't take too long, did it? There we go. We're plugged in. It's the boom magic time. Here we go. Next part. One dumbbell. Again, I do apologize. Hopefully you were marching. Hopefully you're doing something in that short period of time. Hopefully you were hydrating. We're going to go to one dumbbell, front delt first, and then a curl, and then a press. So when I do my front delt today, I'm going to do it a little differently. So I'm going to show you that angle version. So if you're in that seat, I, want you, I don't want you to drop it all the way down here. I want you to try to keep it all the way out here. So you're keeping it away from your thighs. You're keeping it away from your stomach. 
and you're keeping the elbows bent just a little bit. So you see how my elbows are bent? They're not fully extended, they're bent a little bit. So if I'm in the front, they look like this. Angle for you like this, like this. And you're just coming up, right to here, and then up. See how I lean forward into it? Lean forward into it. Now if you're in your seat, and you can't lean forward into it, that's okay, but I want you to hold it right here. I don't want you to come all the way down. As soon as you come all the way down, you take the contraction off that anterior delt. You want to keep the contraction here because that's what we're working. Elbows bent, up, up, up. And we really try to force those anteriors to work. So if I was in the front, it looks like this. Push, push, side, push, push. You can see me. Ah, I'm reaching, ah, and I'm trying to reach up, up, up. Woo, feel them, up, squeeze them, up, and rest. Anterior, it comes down, you're not working the anterior anymore. You're swinging it through, and it doesn't work or necessarily target that connection where we're trying to hit. Next exercise, curl. Curl it up. Simple exercise. It almost stays in that same hammer curl. So as you're working this curl right here, same motion you did in that first part, you're working that forearm, and you're working the brachialis, you're working the outside. Elbows tight, you're not going all the way up, you're coming right in there and squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. Nice and tall. Keep the contraction, making yourself more pliable, extend up, extend up, extend it down and come on up, come on. Let's get four more, four, three, Two, and then let's hold it right here. So now you're gonna bring it back. Now you're gonna rest it on that clavicle. Now you're gonna rest it on that chest. And again, if you don't have a dumbbell, it's okay. Use a water bottle. A water bottle works just as great. You can take that water bottle, you can hold it right here, and you can press it up. So now we're gonna press up. You're just pressing up. Full extension. You can do an angle. You can push it out, or you can go up and back. Like that. Up and back. Now, if you go up and back, that is a more advanced exercise, and that's really unbounding those shoulders and helping you work on the rotator cuff and targeting that anterior delt, that trap, that rear delt, and that lateral delt as well. So up. Push them up. And back. Or, if you have limitations of motion, push here or here. It's your call. Your choice, it's about getting motion, it's about working on full extension, and it's about bettering yourself and improving yourself each and every week here on Boom. Now we're gonna put all that together, okay? We're gonna do that front down, where we're pushing it up, we're gonna do that hammer curl, and then we're gonna go way up with it. So I'm gonna show you that angled view right here. Keep it here. Remember, not all the way here, it went right here, and it's the angled view. Hammer curl, press, right here, uh, curl, press, now get a little further back, stop, up, all the way down, curl, and then up, ah, uh, right here, up, all the way down, curl, press, up, curl, press, Metabolic failure or having mechanical failure? Ask yourself. Is getting out of breath 
from the cardiovascular arrest, or you're getting mechanical failure where you can't lift the arms anymore because you're losing muscular endurance. That's mechanical failure. Let's we'll see, where are you at? Which one is it? Is it both? Is it one? Is it the other? If it's both, great. If it's one, great. If it's a different one, great. If it's none of them, well, we gotta keep working. Hydrate, you're not working hard enough. Or you're doing it wrong, rewind and check it out. Here we go. Next part is going to be an action interval. We got about 10 minutes left. We got to get three different exercises in. So we're going to go to some volleyball. Shift back and forth. Get yourself ready. There you go. On the balls of those feet. If you can't move the balls of those feet, you're just bobbing and weaving back and forth like this. There you go. Get that left hand going. Sir. 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 Palms open. Come on. Serve it. Sir. 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 Right side. Sir. Sir. Swing it through. Get ready. We're going to go to the block. Two hands. Up. Up. Block. 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 It's a hinge if you're standing. If you're in your seat, you can always go back, lean back, and push up. There you go. Get that core and all push. Block it. Block it. Block. 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 Ah, get ready for the volley. Volley, 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 volley. Like this. Up. Get those anteriors. Come on. Up on wrist. Here we go. Well, this is like an uppercut. I don't know if this is volley, but hey. It's volley ball. Volley, here comes the ball. Push. Little short choppies. Elbows down. There you go. Push them up. How you doing? Push it. Come on. Go. Go. Push. Push. Shift that weight. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shift. 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 Uppers. Up. Up, come on, dive in that sand. Three, two, one. Done. That's the volleyball edition. We want to get to those weights. Like I said, we don't have much time left. We got about five, seven minutes, and we got to get two different exercises in. So we get to that third set. I want you to hydrate. Check where that rate of perceived exertion is at. Where you at? You got that five or a wet little dripping. Get that towel. Take a little sippy. You got that six. Come on, let's keep going. Let's get that seven. You want two dumbbells next? Lightweight, remember you can take rocks, you can use water bottles, you can just use your imagination. You do not need weights to do this exercise. And again, you don't want too heavier weights because you want to be able to control that movement and you don't want to injure yourself. You want to be safe, secure, and active. We're going to go to the curls next, we're going to go to the reverses, and then we're going to go to the rear delt. So curls are first, that's when we're going to really work it on that, that longer head, not the short head, the longer head, and on that outside again, and we're going to just curl them up. Supinated. So again, when you curl, I want you to keep them tight to your body. So I want you to keep them in, and I don't want to go. I don't want you going outside. So once you go on the outside of those shoulders, you work more of the the short head or the inner head. I want you to keep them close, elbows tight, anchor, squeeze up, keep those palms up too. Like you're volleying that ball. Up. There you go. Squeeze the bicep. Keep them close. You can keep them close like this, where they're touching each other. Makes it a little more difficult. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feel that bicep. Reverse curls are next. I want you to do the exact same thing. So those elbows are tight to that rib cage again. Those. Dumbbells are touching each other, those warm bottles are touching each other, and you're just reversing. Like this. There you go. Woo. Feel? Keep those wrists straight. Look at my wrists. They're straight. I'm bending a little so you can see me in that picture, but I want you to stand up nice and tall, like this. Ears over shoulder. Up. Up. Keep them close if you need to. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest them. Rear 
dough snacks, and then we're going to put it all together so that rear delt is you're staying in that pronated position. You're going to hit those thighs right here on the side. See where I'm hitting them? Right here. Side view looks like this. And then I'm just taking them out. Come back down, hit those thighs. Come on, Miss Daly. Push your chest out, pull those arms back. Push the chest out, pull those arms back. You're keeping them up like you have a water bottle in your hand. Thumbs are going up too. If you want to do them without weights, you can do them without weights. You just pop it and pull those thumbs. See what I'm doing? I'm just externally rotating, pushing that chest out, expanding the chest, expanding the diaphragm, and I'm working on squeezing the scapula. You see how my elbows go back? My hands go back too. They go actually back behind my shoulders. See them? I'm pushing back. Grab those weights, grab those rocks, grab those water bottles. Here we go. Push out. Four more. Three, anchor. Two, one, to the front. Curls. Reverse. Rear delt. Curl. Reverse. Rear delt. Curl. Reverse. Rear down, ah, you got it, curl. Reverse, rear down, curl. Reverse, rear down, you see how that comes through? There you go, curl, drop them down, reverse, drop to the side, rear down, come forward. Curl, reverse, rear down, curl, reverse, rear, curl. Reverse, rear, curl, reverse, rear, last three, curl, reverse, ah, get it, awesome job. High grade if you need it, we're almost there. Last set, last exercise, and boom, boom. You're done, and you're on your way for another exciting day. Let's get this. Are you ready? Shake it off. Last exercises. Let's go to left wrestle. Let's go Michael Phelps. Let's go some swimming. Let's go some running. And you know, I don't even know what else we're gonna do. But let's go swimming. Let's get it. 50 meter freestyle. Let's go. So I think that 50 meter, it only takes about 20 seconds. So get yourself ready. We're gonna be done in 20 seconds. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. 100 meter sprint, move those arms, sprint, I think this only takes about 10 seconds to do 100, well maybe they take a little longer, 100 meters, how long does that take, 20, 20 seconds again, oh let's go, 50 meter butterfly, go, another, I think this takes a little longer to do butterfly, come on, get that butterfly going, come on, Hundred meter hurdles. Up. Jump. 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 Get those hurdles. Come on. Get the hurdle. 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 Hurdle archery. Left hand back. Right hand out. Touch. Whew. Whew. Come on. I don't know if they do archery, but they do skeet shoot. Come on. Hit that. To the front. Twist that body. Low. 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 Mid. 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 High. 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 Other side. Right hand back. Left hand out. Go. Up. 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 Mid, mid, low, 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 mid, mid, hard, hard, go, pull, 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 boom, 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 chicka, 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 guess who's out. Peace, my friend, go on, peace. Your turn to cool down. Cool it down, get some hydration, we made it through the boom session. We made it through the boom exercise. I need you to all just to relax, take some deep breaths, 
Get yourself prepared for whatever you have in store for the rest of your day. Hopefully this energized you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you come back for more. Hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully you tell your friends about it. What I'm doing right now is I'm allowing you to cool down, relax, as I say my parting words to you. And those parting words to you are chicka, 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 chicka. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed this session. And hopefully I see you next week. Again, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please share, please comment, and go visit my website, www.jessestory.com. Or, if you have something nice to say to me, go to Google and just leave me a review in regards to these classes and how they made an impact in your life or any way that you met me along the path of this journey and this season. And again, thank you. Peace, my friends. Hydrate. See you next week.